It is another blessed and beautiful day. Another day with your boy JT as we give the most high all the honor, the glory, all the praise and worship. As you can see, I'm doing a little better. And uh, I want to thank everybody for the prayers. I mean, can't say thank you enough. So I want to title this video, Why Me? But why not me? And just catch what I'm saying. Because so many of us in this life, we always talk about going through faith, struggling, you know. But when we are put in a situation, we don't like it. And I stopped saying, why me, a long time ago. And start saying, why not me? With all the scriptures that we read, you know, it rains on the just, just, excuse me, as well as the unjust. Right there alone teaches you, it don't matter who you are, what color you are. You gonna have trials, and you gonna have tribulations. So I'm always the one talking about, preaching about, struggling. That's why I don't fit in the category with these fake prophets and false teachers and leaders because. They preaching to you that you won't go through nothing. And just excuse me as I, you know, my mouth drooled a little bit. But God get the glory with us going through. See, we're always talking about take me out of this, take me out of that. And I was reading a whole lot of the comments, which I'm just letting all y'all comments lifted my spirit. But this is not sad. Don't look at this as a sad thing. I know some of y'all were saying, man, I just hate you going through this. It's me right now. It may be one of you next. See, the thing about trials and tribulations is you don't know when they're going to come. You don't know how long they're going to last. It may be sickness. It may be financial. You don't know what it may be. Family members, loved ones die. But the Most High has equipped us with everything that we need to make it in this life with. So why me? Why not me? If you look at my page and you know what I speak about, I'm always talking about persecution, struggling, faith, enduring to the end. The Bible says those that endure to the end shall be saved, Brother People Jones. Ain't that right? And some of us forget about that. And you can't have a testimony without a test. You can't, you know. And a lot of times I, I I sit back and think about that, how so many people get up and testify in these churches and they really don't even have testimonies. This is a, another hurdle. I'm just going to jump over, you know. That's why I said yesterday things could have went a whole lot worse. I could have lost my memory. I could have lost my whole left side. I could have just took a turn for the rest. But each day, I'm getting stronger and stronger. This is my fifth day uh, yeah, in the hospital. And I'm going to preach. <clears throat> I feel real good right now. I still don't have no, uh, my left arm. It, it just has no fitting in it at all. But as far as my left leg, uh, man, I can go outside and kick a soccer ball. Both of my legs are fine. And just I'm still trying to get my speech back, you know. So I want to just come say that why me, why not me? You know, we we all are going through something. And once again, don't look at this as it's a sad thing because it's not. Why 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 am I gonna preach all the time about going through stuff and then I sit here and and get mad and, and try to. You know, get mad at the most high first time something happened to me. Well, I got to tell you something. I done been through a whole lot in my life. A whole lot. And this right here is just something else to jump over. I mean, I done been from, you name it, dealing with the system, to homeless, to heart failure, to, I mean, I ain't going to sit there and just go down the list, the list of stuff, but it don't matter what come my way. Because you know what I say when I wake up in the, mo in the morning, when the most high wake me up, thank you for that. I say, you know what, I'm not worried about nothing. 
Because whatever going to come my way, I know it's not too hard for you. You know, that's why I live for the day. And, uh, and, and I live every day like it's my last day. So to all of y'all, I can't call our names, but I was very lifted up by all those comments. And let me say this too. I wish I had a whole lot of people praying harder than me, praying hard for me like this before I went down. Uh -huh. See, we quick to come together when something doesn't happen. But before, that's why I always tell y'all all the time, keep me lifted up in prayer. Don't wait till I go down to pray for me. And then, there's some people you don't need praying for you because they're praying bad things. Like, but just, just like I do, y'all, it, it kind of reminds me of some people, they just want to praise the most time when things is going good. When I'm up, make sure you keep me in prayer because this is a spiritual battle, a big spiritual battle that I already know. Like you said, Brother People Jones, in your comment, amen, brother. This is a spiritual battle. I know who the enemy is because what I speak about and what I'm walking about, Satan is pissed off. But with Satan, Satan, dragon, serpent, <laughs> even one, son of perdition. Yeah, I know you. I'm calling you out like I always do. You didn't win this time either. You've been trying to defeat a long time. But when you messing with a child of the king, Hey, keep on trying. I feel like Job right about now. <laughs> he can do everything he want to me, but take my soul. Can't touch my soul. So, yeah, the sickness done hit my body. If it happened to Job, why why not me? I love y'all. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful blessed day.